Hello, I'm Kim Moody, and it is my pleasure to serve as principal of RM Moore STEM Academy. Welcome to our Title I meeting. Our amazing team of teachers and staff have been busy preparing for our school year. We are working hard to create learning environments that are different and engaging with challenging STEM learning experiences for all students. In the following minutes, I will be going over the most important and used terms and items involved in our Title I program. First, let's talk about ESSA, Every Student Succeeds Act. The purpose of ESSA is to provide all children significant opportunity to receive a fair, equitable, and high-quality education and to close educational achievement gaps. The purpose of Title I under ESSA is to ensure that all children have a fair, equal, and significant opportunity to obtain a high-quality education and reach, at a minimum, proficiency on challenging state academic achievement standards and state academic assessments. Remember, all students benefit from R and More Elementary STEM Academy being a federal Title I school. This act provides federal funds through the Georgia Department of Education to public schools. Title I schools are schools that receive federal funding to improve the academic achievement of students. The purpose of a school-wide program is to improve the entire educational program, which should result in improving the academic achievement of all students. These funds are used to improve teaching and learning for all students by providing supplemental resources and additional staff. This reduces class sizes, provides teachers with additional support in the form of professional development opportunities, and places additional instructional supplies and resources directly in the hands of children. How Title I funds are applied. Additional teachers and paraprofessionals to lower pupil teacher ratios. An academic coach who coordinates reading and or math intervention programs with innovative instructional strategies and valuable staff development. One full-time and one part-time parent engagement facilitators. They provide support and resources for parents to increase student achievement academically. Fund parent and family engagement activities to actively engage parents in the academic achievement of their children. Our school's goals for the 2024-2025 school year are Increase by 3 percentage points the number of K-2 students scoring at or above grade level expectations on the district reading assessment and the number of 3-5 through five students scoring at the proficient or distinguished level in ELA on the Georgia Milestones Assessment by May 2025. Increase by three percentage points the number of K-2 through two students scoring at or above grade level expectations on I-Rating Math Diagnostic and the number of three through five students scoring at the proficient or distinguished level in math on the Georgia Milestones Assessment by May 2025. Increase by three percentage points the number of fifth grade students scoring at the proficient or distinguished level in science on the Georgia Milestones Assessment by May 2025 and increase by three percentage points the number of fifth grade students scoring at the meets or exceeds level in social studies on the Common Social Studies Benchmark Assessment by May 2025. We offer resources for our family's success such as District Parent and Family Engagement Plan. Each district and school shall develop jointly, agree on, and distribute to parents and family members of participating children a written parent and family engagement plan. The plan should establish the expectations for meaningful parent and family involvement. School Parent and Family Engagement Plan This is a plan that describes how RM Moore Elementary STEM Academy will provide opportunities to improve parent engagement to support student learning at school and at home. The purpose is to establish an equal partnership for the common goal of improving student achievement. School staff, in meaningful consultation with parents, jointly developed and agreed upon a written plan that includes activities that support effective parent and family engagement. Parent-Teacher Compact Our and more elementary STEM Academy and our families will develop a school parent compact, which explains how parents, the entire school staff and students will share the responsibility for improved student academic achievement 
and how they will work together as partners to ensure all students reach grade level standards. We offer many opportunities for our parents to engage. All students and their families are encouraged and invited to be a part of our school. Here are some parent nights that you can participate in. Open House, Curriculum Night, Title I Family Engagement Nights, PTA, School Council, Virtual Resources, and Parent Resource Room. We have many ways to volunteer at our school, and here are some. Media Center, Classroom Helpers, PTA, and much more. Some of our parent decision-making opportunities include School Council, Parent Input for the Parent and Family Engagement Plan, School Parent Compact, and Building Staff Capacity. Feedback is always encouraged at parent events and, of course, in our annual parent survey. We also offer ways you can work with us to improve student achievement. Participating in family engagement events, participating in decision-making and volunteer opportunities, engage in two-way communication with teachers, check Canvas regularly, review the school parent compact, encourage your child to share what they are learning in class, Utilize at-home resources provided by the school. We kindly ask you to take part in our Parent Title I Survey. The purpose of our survey is to evaluate the Title I Parent Engagement Program and gather parent input on events and needs. We are so pleased with our recent results. We want to share with you some of our strengths. 98% of our families feel that our and more elementary staff welcomes them when they visit their child's school. 97% of our families feel that RMOR provides information about ways they can engage in the education of their child and the ways they can help their child's learning at home. 97% of our families feel that RMOR Elementary have open lines of communication with their child's teachers. If you need more information about our parent survey results for your convenience, we have them placed on our school website. Were you aware that we have a parent resource room? The Parent Resource Room has fun educational materials to check out for your family. Some examples found in our resource room are educational board games, books, learning games, kits, and more. You can come in and check out the material Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 1.30 p.m. We hope that you enjoy and take advantage of the Parent Resource Room. What curriculum does our school use? Cherokee County School District uses the Georgia Standards of Excellence GSE, curriculums. These standards provide a consistent framework to prepare students for success in college and or the 21st century workplace. For more information, visit the Georgia Standards of Excellence site. Let's talk about the test your child will be taking. G-Kids, Georgia Kindergarten Inventory of Developing Skills for Students in Kindergarten. The Georgia Milestones Assessment System is designed to provide information about how well students are mastering the state-adopted content standards in the core content areas of English Language Arts, Mathematics, Science, and Social Studies. End of Grade, EOG, ELA for Grades 3 through 5, Math for Grades 3 through 5, Science for Grades 3 through 5. Do you know the proficiency levels your child is expected to meet? For Georgia Milestones, a beginning learner means they do not yet demonstrate proficiency. Developing learners demonstrate partial proficiency. Proficient learners demonstrate proficiency. And distinguished learners demonstrate advanced proficiency. How can you monitor your child's progress? Communicating with the teacher, checking Canvas, coming to our family engagement night with your child for the student-led conferences, and reviewing the report card. We also have available for you the Georgia State Longitudinal Data System, SLDS. In this system, parents can access school data such as performance, resources, testing, career plan, and attendance. The Georgia School Grades Report is also a great resource. These report cards help students and parents better understand the concepts students are taught and how they are performing with each concept. The grading scale on the standards-based report card is three. Student can consistently and independently meet or exceed the standard and the student can consistently produce quality work. Two, 
student is inconsistently applying learned skills with some teacher support, and one, student shows limited achievement and needs additional support and are frequently teaching. Students are expected to score a three on all grade level standards by the end of the school year. Did you know that the Georgia Department of Education, Godot, has a page with transition resources? School transition is a process that prepares families and schools in developing the necessary skills to successfully move from one level to another. Transition toolkits are available on the Godot website for kindergarten transition and middle school transition. Parents have the right to know how their students are doing and about our school in general. Parents may request information about the professional qualifications of their students' teachers and or paraprofessionals. They may also request whether the student's teacher has met state qualification and licensing criteria for the grade levels and subject areas in which the teacher provides instruction. Is teaching under emergency or other provisional status through which state qualification or licensing criteria have been waived and is teaching in the field of discipline of the certification of the teacher. Whether the child is provided with services by paraprofessionals and if so, their qualifications. If you ever need to communicate with our staff, here are some ways that you can contact them. Parent Square, emails, phone calls, agendas, Canvas, and of course, checking that monthly calendar or folder that goes home. Please note that our teachers are expected to teach through the day, so please allow them at least 24 hours to respond. If you have any questions or concerns about our Title I program, please write us a comment or send us an email. We are so happy that you are watching this video tonight. Our main goal is to ensure that after watching, you are better informed about the Title I program as well as the opportunities the school provides to get involved. Thank you for your time and everything you do for your child.